hey guys welcome back to the course now we can view the users but uh, first of all let's make a admin login page for this so everyone cannot access this so this has become a complete project now so I will a uh, copy I will make a copy of this login.php page and will save it admin underscore login.php that's a simple thing again go to the local host and say Create a new, create a new uh, page. I mean, new table with the name admin in only three columns. Admin underscore id. This will be integer. Admin pass and admin underscore email. Varchar hundred hundred and hundred and here it will be primary key and auto increment and click save has been created nice and we can insert uh, a test user two users password Wali Khan and email is awparishan at gmail.com and here password is saima saima at yahoo.com that's it click go two users have been inserted here you can see so this is for the admin now the ad on the admin login page will say admin panel login and here change it to admin login we'll remove the padding from here admin underscore email admin underscore pass simple and nice and this will change to admin underscore login and this to admin login I'll remove this link don't need that I will change this to admin underscore login that's fine nice just need to change this to admin underscore pass and this to admin underscore email admin underscore pass admin underscore email variables I have also changed now select from uh, admin where admin email admin email is equal to this admin underscore email and admin underscore pass is equal to admin underscore pass that's it simple and nice now run check try again register the session and the session will be of admin email this will be equal to admin email that's it I'll just redirect the person to view users dot php and on the view users dot php page I will add some thing here session start after that same thing like we did with the home page the home dot php this thing I am talking about 
if is not set session is equal to admin underscore email for this page I mean for view users then redirect the person to admin underscore login dot php in else condition show the page we will just close this curly bracket here after the html that's it control is to save now if we go to this page we will be redirected to admin login page and here I have to write my email and my password actually dot admin login page we have not actually changed the form destination this we need to change to admin login so the script will be actually executed on this page come back here oh it's nice really good we have logged in so now on this page we can write that uh, logout and we can we can say welcome to the person so just after the table uh, <laughs> here after the table I can say in h3 tag that welcome and here I will just echo the session of the person which is session admin email welcome and then I will create a link to logout admin underscore logout dot php page which we are just about to create and we will say logout a harap close and then h3 close to list to save in our uh, come here refresh the page and you can see welcome aw operation it's mean my email address my email i mean i have logged in with this email so the email is being displayed here you can see and log out so they can click this i want to keep i want to bring it here so i will just go and add some style to this h3 h3 in the css uh, plot right margin right 20 px that's it just there margin right will be 100 px I think a 120 that's fine welcome AW operation logout so just create logout page copy this code paste it here save the page log admin underscore logout dot php redirect the person to admin underscore login that's it nothing else just click logout it's the person is here now I will log in with another user which is Saima at yahoo.com and the password is just Saima you can see here Saima and Saima at yahoo.com okay, click now you can see welcome saima logout. log out this is only accessible now when a person has the login credential admin has the login credential now this has been done this is nice okay and in the next lecture i'm coming back and we'll work on the delete and edit options here stay tuned